is Hikari Cosplay here with another vlog! Before I start getting into the thick of it, I do want to show off my very lovely Mary Idea wig from Bravely Default. I commissioned it from Supernova Styles. I've got a link to her Facebook page below. You should go check her out because she did an amazing job with this wig. I love it so much and cannot wait to wear it for Kineticon in July. Okay, so this vlog is about Special Edition NYC this past week. I did do some vlogging during the con, but unfortunately, somehow they got lost when I was transferring all of my files from my camera to my computer, so I'm just going to vlog about it now. Special Edition this year was very interesting. I had a lot of fun. I enjoy it. This is the second year in a row that Special Edition has run, and it's very interesting was a lot uh, more popular this year, a lot more cosplayers on Saturday, which made me so happy, but most of the popularity was due to the New York Comic Con tickets. Also, I would like to apologize about my voice. Um, I've got after con voice where my voice sounds a little funky and shot. I essentially spent my day with Lara Bird Cosplay, Kinetic Cosplay, Arxana Cosplay, and Savko Brezia from Tumblr. All of us except for Arxana Cosplay needed to get Comic-Con tickets, so I showed up at 8am, two hours before it opened at 10, got us a spot in line to get into the center, bolted for the New York Comic-Con pass line the second the doors opened. We got in, we were the first group to get in, and boy did we luck out. Everybody got three day passes, I got a four day pass. It was awesome. Literally the second we got out of line, they announced that three day passes for that day were sold out. So, whew, we lucked out. Now I cosplayed Scarlet Witch, uh, kind of a different version of the comic books. Lyra cosplayed as the X-Men Days of Future Past female version of Silver and Kinetic Cosplay cosplayed as Gambit, another X-Men Marvel character. Safdin so cosplayed with she girl along her fabulous hair and beautiful makeup. And we met up later with Oksana Cosplay, who cosplayed as Vampirella that day. We pretty much spent the whole day hanging out, walking around a little bit, taking a lot of photos and videos. So that was really fun. I, that's what I do really enjoy about Special Edition is it's a very nice hangout con. I got to hang out and spend time with people that I would normally see in your Comic Con but wouldn't really have the time to super duper hang out. And the convention center itself wasn't super great because it was essentially like a warehouse, but it was right next to this beautiful park, Hudson Park. Oh my gosh, I loved, loved, loved this park. Unfortunately, on Sunday, there was an event going on in the park, so we couldn't take a lot of photos on Sunday, but on Saturday, we got to take a lot of awesome photos. And it was so nice to feel the sun after the rain that happened earlier that morning while we were waiting in line to get into the center. Sunday, the weather was perfect, beautiful. I got there 9, 9.30 with Kinetic Cosplay. And then we met up with Oksana Cosplay around 10 or 11. Um, Lara and Sav couldn't come that day, but we still had fun. They didn't really miss much because Sunday, like always, uh, not, not as many people went. Not a lot of cosplayers, especially in comparison to that Saturday where there was that usual rate cosplayer to normal person ratio on Saturday of Special Edition as there would be at a normal New York Comic Con day. Sunday of Special Edition this year felt like Saturday of Special Edition last year where there weren't really a lot of people and there were not a lot of cosplayers. There were a few, but there just wasn't as much as opposed to the other day. Sunday I couldn't stay very long, but I still had fun hanging out and walking around a little bit. For Sunday, I was Bloody Mary from The Wolf Among Us, and Kinect Cosplay was Big B Wolf, also from The Wolf Among Us, and Oksana Cosplay was Poison from Street Fighter. So we had some fun hanging out a little bit and catching up. I didn't do a lot of shopping this year. Um, 
mainly because Anime Next is this weekend, so I kind of wanted to save my money. But I did get to meet the creators of Lady Killer, Joelle Jones and Jamie S. Rich. I love Lady Killer. I've talked about it before. It's one of my favorite all-time comics ever, and they were there. I got to meet them. I got all five of my Lady Killer issues signed by both of them. It was awesome. I got to talk a little bit. And that was pretty much all that I bought was stuff from their booth. So, swag time! Okay, the first thing I got was Aries and Aphrodite Love Wars. It's this cool comic. I haven't read it yet because I haven't had time. It's written by Jamie S. Rich, writer of Lady Killer. And I got him to sign the inside. Super nice. Can't wait to read it and dig into it when I have the time. And then I got a print signed by Joelle Jones of Josie Schuler from Lady Killer. And I don't know, I love these kinds of old advertisements. And plus it made me laugh. The he will never complain that his dinner is late again. First name. And the only other thing I got was this really super amazing print of Josie. The it's the first issue of Lady Killer, the cover of the first issue, uh, signed by Joelle Jones, of course. Um, it's so nice. You, I don't know if you can see, but it's got this shiny metallic-iness to the paper. Yeah, not as much swag to show off for this con. Now we're going to move on to my least favorite thing about the con. Starting off with my least favorite thing of the con, um, but if I had to say something negative about it, it would have to be the inside venue. I understand that the reason they changed it to Pier 94 and not the Javits Center this year is because of money, most likely, and turnout, and not to mention the Javits Center is pretty expensive to rent out, so I can understand that from a business standpoint. But from an attendee standpoint, the inside center was not fun. The lighting was really bad in there. It just wasn't as scenic. It felt like I was in a warehouse. And if it wasn't for the park, it would have this would have been a lot worse. Ugh. Okay, time for the best part about the con. The best part about the con, as I mentioned before, is the overall vibe. That I really enjoy that it's a nice hangout con that I can just sit back, talk to friends, I can take photos, I can relax and have fun. It's not quite as busy, rush, 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 go, go, go as New York Comic Con, but you still have those same people, those same amazing cosplayers and photographers that come, And but now you don't have the pressure of constantly having to move. So I would have to say my favorite part was definitely hanging out in the park next door to the convention center. And I would also like to add the um, guests that they got. They got a lot of really amazing artists and writers, aka Joel Jones and Jamie S. Rich. A couple of other really amazing ones. I enjoyed walking around the artist alley, looking at all the different talent that they had. It was so cool. Really nice. Apparently also the voice of Baymax was there from Big Hero 6. If I had known, I definitely would have gone to try and see him, but I didn't realize until Sunday that he was there on Saturday and I was like, oh, rats. I didn't go to any of the panels, so I can't really vouch for any of that. The vendors were okay. I mean... They were really all comic book vendors and toy vendors, so really wasn't that much. But I did really enjoy the artist alley. I always feel like New York Comic Con and Special Edition have the best artist alley. That may just be me, but... Anyway, thank you so much for watching my little video. Keep an eye out for the GoPro selfie cam music video that I made with my friends. I'll be posting the link below. And I hope I see you all at Anime next. Bye!